Hello and welcome to another update video about Solana. Solana is back on its way into the larger support region. If you watched previous updates, then you know that our main support level here for a wave two correction is at $119.59. And it seems like, well, we don't necessarily need to test that level, but it seems like the price wants to visit the support region again. At least this is my perspective, as long as the price stays below resistance. And I want to share with you what this resistance area is. For now, um, let's just um, first of all zoom out a little bit. Quick um, reminder of where we are. Current idea is that a wave four might have bottomed here on the 5th of August. That remains to be proven. Okay, that's, you know, just a thesis at the moment, just something I'm watching for. But it remains, um, well, it needs to be confirmed, you know, by, by price action. So far, price action hasn't been very convincing. Yes, we had a nice rally from round about $110 all the way up to $163, then a correction. First dip into support, A wave, a B wave rally in three waves. And now we seem to be moving back into support, which seems to be this C wave, and it seems to be an impulsive move down, which, yeah, doesn't look finished yet. So, Looking at the microstructure here, we have an initial one, two setup. This could be a third wave down. It's typically the longest wave in a cycle, the longest element of a trend in this case of the C wave. And even this third wave might need another, and you see that here if I zoom in a little bit, it might need another four, five pattern. And then we could still get another four, five pattern. Now, please don't treat this, these roadmaps as definite. Well, how should I say? Um, well, the, the, you know, the waves aren't guaranteed to play out. You know, it's not like the wave count, the micro counts are so, they, 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 are, they are so fragile, you know, they shouldn't be used for trading. What could be used for trading and what really matters for traders are the levels for risk management, resistance, support. Yeah, um, you know, whether we get the last fifth wave down or not is not so important. What really matters is does support hold, does resistance, uh, resistance hold? Because at the moment, it's cl quite clear that from the weekend high, we're in a local downtrend. The first signal that the local downtrend is breaking would be a break above the initial micro resistance at $151.20. This is based on the microstructure to the downside. A break above it is not confirmation that we're breaking out to the upside, but it's a first indication that the immediate downtrend is breaking and we're moving up again. And then we can watch the next level, which would be here, the weekend high at around about $163. But for now, the local trend is down and it remains down as long as resistance holds. And this resistance area needs to be adjusted with the price. So if we go down a little bit lower, we move that resistance area with us. It currently seems likely that we would test at least the A wave low again which formed on Friday the 16th around $136. Maybe also the next Fibonacci levels at $134 or even $128. So these are the next levels to watch. Pay attention to the resistance area. And it seems like just if we just follow the micro patterns, it might need to finish off this third wave, which might be complete already, then form another 4-5 in this third of wave C. And then we could still get another 4-5. The last four five patterns are never guaranteed because, you know, if this is a WXY structure, the low might already be in after the next low. A low could always be in already, yeah, but then it would have to be some kind of a messy diagonal to the upside. But also here, you know, that's why we're tracking resistance because we need to be prepared for anything. So a break above resistance will tell us that this impulse to the downside is likely not unfolding as it's shown here. So that's the, the key level that tells us something different is playing out. To the downside, the main support for a bullish scenario is at $119.60. So in any bullish scenario, the price should avoid a sustained break below it. If the price breaks below it, it indicates that this idea, that a larger degree fourth wave bottomed already on the 5th of August needs to be revised. We would then have to prepare for a test possibly even here of the $72 level. I keep you updated for now. The yellow wave count is preferred here, but we might need a few more down downward squiggles to complete this wave too. 
That's the update about Solana. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.